Hey, 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 all you monsters out there. It's Miss V, and welcome to Monster Week on Art with Miss V. Um, do you like my new hairdo? I did it myself. <laughs> uh, I have a special guest for you today. It's my good friend, Slimer. Slimer and I are here to do a really cool art project with you about overlapping monster doodles. Overlapping in art is meant to show depth. So that means that one thing could be in front of the other, or one thing could be closer than the other. So watch as I create a cool monster doodle drawing, and you can too. Alright, alright, let's get started. The first thing I did was cut out some basic monster body shapes. This step is unnecessary, but I thought it would help to understand the process of overlapping a little bit. I'm just going to start by tracing my first monster body shape. Now I'll move on to my next shape making sure that I don't trace the whole side so it looks like one shape is behind the other. Now I will continue the process of creating overlapping monster body shapes, making sure I don't trace all the sides so it shows depth. Now I'm just going to continue this process until I have the design I want. Obviously you don't have to use the tracers to create your design, but I thought it would be a good way to learn. Now I'm going to use a sharpie and a thinner pen to draw the faces on my monsters. Each monster is going to have its own unique face and expression. Here's my finished page. Notice some of them have horns. There's patterns and each one has a different facial expression. My whole page is filled with monsters. And now it's your turn to try. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for joining me for Art with Miss V. See you next time.